I just want to point out for the purposes of understanding that ABSCUF has an agreement with uh, the chair, the previous chairs, that uh, we will speak during public comments, but it is in the contract that we can address the board independently. I, uh, it's been an interesting couple of days here. Uh, I had an urge yesterday to get up during public comments and talk, uh, but I wanted really these you know, to have a more heartfelt expression of what I wanted to, to get forward today. Uh, and I didn't want to do it in front of the cameras uh, that were here, and I didn't want to detract from the students uh, who came here, I think, quite earnestly to talk about the cost of public higher education, uh, a very real impact on their lives, uh, what it means every single dollar uh, when tuition or costs at the universities go up. I uh, have told this story to others, and uh, there was an issue that had happened in East Stroudsburg, and a bunch of faculty members decided they were going to go to a Council of Trustees meeting. And I've been to a bunch before, uh, I witnessed them. And my colleague who was sitting next to me, it was the first time he'd ever gone to and after a while, watching the Council of Trustees meeting go on, he leaned over to me and he said, I think I took too much medication today. And I laughed and I said, what are you talking about? He said, this sort of seems like our university, but it's really not what our university looks like. There's really a great deal of distance here. And I said, you're right, it's true. You know, I, I served on boards. Um, you know, we're working on the ground. Uh, the Council of Trustees is kind of at 10,000 feet. The Board of Governors is at 50,000 feet. And uh, the legislature is, you know, somewhere out in space there <laughs> when it comes to understanding uh, what happens and what actually goes on uh, at our universities. Uh, you know, I'm very glad about some of the things that have been going on. I wanted and I originally thought I was going to turn this uh, in the, you know, under the category of responsibility and taking responsibility, but I'm uh, certainly willing to defer to the chancellor's term, and that is accountability. Uh, we have, uh, you know, we hear about this financial crisis that is going on at the system and at our universities, and certainly it is a financial crisis for those people who have to work at the universities uh, for our university presidents are going to have to face very difficult decisions. Uh, it, it really does impact even more. And the pain really is felt much more by those people who have to work uh, directly with the students every single day. They are the ones who are going to witness major cuts to their departmental budgets and try to figure out how they're going to make things work. Uh, we're going to see internships and other experiences, I'm sure, cut like they have been cut uh, before. Uh, but really, this there has been, I do think, in the past, a real crisis in accountability as we go up the chain. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that uh, uh, Trustee Smith is talking about uh, what they want to do to try and make the councils of trustees uh, more accountable. I'm uh, very, very happy by what the uh, Chancellor has done and uh, Madam Chair, with what you are doing about talking about making uh, the board more accountable uh, as well. But there has to be, at some point, ownership. Ownership over the situation that we are in. And the simple reality of this is Pennsylvania ranks 47, 48th in the country when it comes to almost every single measure of funding for our universities. There's no hiding from that. It has to be worn by those people who are making the policy decisions that this is the situation. I mean, it's very easy to point at the board and you know, through maybe even some misunderstanding, even from the students, to say, hey, board, don't do this. Stop raising costs. 
uh, without understanding just how bad that is. The US News and World Report ranks Pennsylvania 50th when it comes to higher education. 50th. Nobody should be proud about that. And no one in the legislature and no one in the governor's office should run away from that fact. The costs don't go up at our universities because the presidents are making decisions, or the, even the decisions that the board is making. They're not the ones forcing the cost to rise. What's happening is it takes money to run universities. And we're not the same universities we used to be. Every single day, it's amazing. It really, truly is. The chancellor said it yesterday. It is amazing that our, our university Students learn to the degree that they do, that there's amazing things happening in the classroom, that there's innovation going on regularly. I was happy uh, yesterday to hear some presidents talk about athletics and the coaches and the important jobs that they do uh, as far as uh, retention goes, the amazing job that, are, uh, that they do in uh, helping their student athletes succeed doing so even under the increasing pressure to raise funds independently to run their programs. The same thing is true of faculty as they try and search around for ways to keep things going. I hear it, I hear it all the time that you know, we can't be everything to everyone. Trust me, we are not everything to everyone. We have seen programs go away. We have seen the universities shrink. We have seen cuts to faculty. We have seen cuts to student support services all around. Someone, someone in Harrisburg, some people in Harrisburg have to take responsibility for the decisions that are being made. We are 50th, 50th in the country. Our student loan rates are 50th. The student loan rates, the amounts of student loans that, are, that their students are taking out is not due to the fact that the board is raising tuition or that you know, there are decisions about housing. That's not what it is. We are not getting properly funded. When this system was created, two thirds of the cost was paid for by the Commonwealth. Now we're down to 25%. At some of our campuses, because of the tuition structure, it is lower than that. That is not a situation for success. It doesn't help the individual students in this commonwealth. It doesn't help, uh, it doesn't help the commonwealth overall. Students who are bearing that debt cannot any longer buy houses, buy cars, start families, when, when people of our generation started their families. And that decision, this situation, is a conscious policy decision. And I, I'm not making a partisan argument here. There was a cut in 2011, that money hasn't gone up. But if you look at the dates before uh, 2011, under a different leadership, the money that was going to the system was already going down. And there were decisions that were made at that point about funding for buildings and, and other uh, situations that made it even you know, continuously more difficult for our universities to do their jobs. There is certainly room for us to be more accountable. And we should be. We should be held accountable by our students. We should be held accountable by the legislature. We should be held accountable by all the people of Pennsylvania. But it, the people who work at Harrisburg, they have to take accountability too. They have to take ownership over the situation that is being created. It's just too easy to say, oh, these are hard decisions now. You're going to have to make hard decisions, and then the presidents will go back to their provost. And other vice presidents say, you have to make hard decisions, and they'll go to the department chairs and say, you have to make hard decisions, and the department chair will go to the faculty and say, you have to make the hard decisions, and then they will throw up their arms and say, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? 
can't just make it work out of nothing. This is a gambit. I understand it. I, I, I think overall looking at it, it's the right move to make to not raise tuition. We've been doing the same thing for so long. We don't get proper funding. We raise tuition a little bit uh, along the way. That little bit makes a difference for the students. It accumulates over time. I hope that people listen, that they go back, that they talk to the leadership that is there and say, all right, this is what you wanted to see. This is what is happening. You wanted more accountability? That is happening. You need to take accountability now. You have to take ownership. You have to wear that number 50, really, like it is a scarlet letter, and understand the harm that is being done to our individual students and overall to the Commonwealth. So thank you, you know, uh, Madam Chair, Chancellor, uh, the Presidents too, for the increasing discussions about accountability. Uh, we've had some interesting conversations and negotiations about accountability as well. And uh, like I said, I can only hope that we will all work together, students, uh, presidents, trustees, the board, the legislators who are on the board to try and do better for the people of Pennsylvania. Thank you very much.